Now the auto industry is a different story. Now I wanted to share this as well. So uh, two years ago, I bought this truck. Uh, this is a Hyundai Palisade. You know, just a regular, not even um, you know what's considered like a luxury brand. And I had to go all the way to Pennsylvania to buy this car. I'm in Maryland, so I had to drive like 40, 50 miles away just to get a car, right? Because in the local DC metro area, it was almost impossible to get the car that you wanted without you know having to pay a crazy dealer markup. You know, it seemed like when you go a little bit further away from like a large metro area, uh, you'll probably pay a, a less of a um, a dealer markup, right? So anyways, two years ago, it was very hard to, to get a new car. You know, they had the chip shortage and all of that, the supply chain issue. Now come uh, spring, I guess now 2023, so a couple months ago, I ordered the BMW, the new BMW XM, which is, um, you know, their high-end SUV. And so I got a call from the sales guy I was working with, um, who told me that a couple had came in, you know, of course I ordered mine, so mine still isn't gonna be available uh, till probably early summer, uh, maybe sometime in May, maybe early June. Um, but he basically just hit me up like, yo, you gotta come see this in person. Um, I didn't get the test driver, but I did get to go in. You know, he drove me around the lot because I don't think they were actually able to take the car off the lot. Um, but you know, I got a chance to look at it and everything. And, and mind you, this is an expensive SUV. This is a, a 100 and so, well, at least mine, um, the MSRP was like 162 plus tax, like $175,000 vehicle. Um, and so the whole point I want to make with that is, you know, speaking with the sales rep, he was like, Hey, look, you know, we're not even going to charge you any, uh, markups, right? No dealer markup, right? On a, on a luxury car, which I wasn't surprised because when I was there, there weren't that many people at the dealership. Um, and mind you, this was on like a Wednesday afternoon at four o'clock in that afternoon. But a couple of those models had, had been sitting there. I think they got like three at my local um, dealer. And usually like when car, you know, in the past, in a couple of years, you know, when people had all this money, the cars were selling before they even got delivered, right? Um, a lot of cars, you were being sold before they even hit the, the dealership lot. And these one came in, from my understanding, um, I think maybe just one out of the three has sold so far. Um, and so what it dawned on me is that, you know, they're having dealerships are having trouble selling these new cars. Couple reasons, right? Two years ago, if you have prime credit, you can get like, for example, this SUV that I have, I'm paying a 2% uh, APR, 2% interest on this. Um, I got a note for 60 months, right? So it's very, very little interest. Right now, and even with prime credit, so even if you have a, a 850, a 800, 840, whatever, you're paying probably around six to seven percent on a new car, right? So, let alone those who might have subprime credit, right? Because subprime credit was already paying, you know, 15, 16, in some cases, 20 percent interest on these cars. So, I can only imagine, you know, like for me, ex you know, being a prime borrower. I'm not trying to really finance a car at six or seven percent, even though that's you know probably not terrible. But when you're used to two percent paying seven percent, it's just it just doesn't really make sense. So that's at the top of the credit quality. Now, if you're and I'm talking about, you know, like bank financing, not, you know, like, for example, um, a lot of the dealer financing might be a little bit lower. Um, just because, you know, if you're Mercedes Benz finance, BMW finance, whatever, Volkswagen finance, you might be able to get those, um, you know, low APR offers for like well-qualified buyers. But let's say if you're just going to your local credit union or your, your bank to get, um, pre-approved with prime credit, you're paying like six to 7%. And so I think now because of the interest rates, because of the increased cost of capital, and because there's a lot of other economic pressure, people aren't buying as many new cars as they were two years ago. Um, a lot of the stimulus money um, has gone down. And then another point I wanted to make as well is that 
um, I was speaking with um, an affiliate partner of mine who does, uh, they basically um, do debt negotiation. So let's say you defaulted on some unsecured loans. They'll basically negotiate with the creditor to pretty much lower your lower your payments. Let's say if you owe 50,000, they might negotiate where you could uh, pay a settlement of, you know, eight, nine, 10,000, right? They basically get your debt down pennies on the dollar um, to reduce your overall debt, right? And so they told me they work with a major bank. Um, and so they said this particular financial institution, I, I don't know which, but they were saying that they currently in March, 2023, they're doing 50 to 60,000 repossessions, vehicle repossessions per month. Now think about that. I mean, in the grand scheme of things across the entire country, that might not seem like a big deal, right? 50 to 60,000 repos a month. But think about this, that's just one financial institution, right? So imagine if, you know, you have multiple banks where they're experiencing the similar level of loan defaults. And what's happened, you know, a lot of people finance these vehicles when they had that stimulus money, when they had these PPP loans, and now that money has dried up, cost of everything is increasing. So there's less disposable income to put to, towards this and people can't service the debt. And so you're seeing a lot of defaults for these cars. So right now to get a car, you know, is pretty easy. Like the dealers, a lot of dealers, they aren't marking these vehicles up because they can't move these vehicles as fast as they were two years ago. Now the high end luxury market might be a little bit different, right? When you're talking about, you know, Porsches and Lambos and Ferraris and stuff like that. Um, but like Mercedes, BMWs, you could, for the most part, get those pretty, pretty, uh, pretty easily. It, you know, there's always exceptions like the super rare models and stuff like that. Ones you have to order. Um, but yeah, like I was able to get my XM no dealer markup. Um, I think they were planning previously to do a 10,000 markup, but they took that off the table because I guess they just want to move these vehicles and they know right now, you know, there's a downturn in um, consumer activity or there's going to be um, an even accelerated downturn in uh, consumer activity. So yeah, I say all this to say that, you know, we're definitely in an economic depressive state, even though, you know, the government probably hasn't officially come out and said, you know, this is, you know, the big R word, I'm not going to say it, but um, we're definitely in an economic depressive state right now. Um, so I, I just wanted to put that out there.